Benjamin, what are you doing here? Who's the woman? My girlfriend. What are you doing here? You? And I? Are okay. What? Jake. Hmm. Lunch. That's a lot of bridesmaids. Don't worry, I'm only gonna have eight. But it will be in a church, and it will be big. That's my family's thing. Jake. I had a dream about my brother. Brother? I told you I have a brother. I have a brother. That's about it. He's a rabbi. A religious one. I haven't seen him in six years. Now he comes to me in a dream. Maybe it's time to reconnect. Eight bridesmaids, huh? <sighs> Diane, my younger sister, had 14. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Hey, Mom, what's up? What? He's reformed like the mother who shows up once a year of that. You're in my prayers. Thank you, Mrs. Goldfarb. Malka. You should have been here already. I'm sure you told them the right time? Oh, I have on open toed shoes. What was I thinking? That's fine, come on. Mama, they're here. Dr. Lever. Yes? My condolences to you both. Thank you. If you would stand with the men, and if you would join Leia. and weeks to come, when we think of Rabbi Lever, we may be compelled to ask God why. Why would a man so full of life, in his prime, be taken from his wife and his family? We come into this world with a purpose, and because death is so much a part of life, we come to see Benjamin's departure as a a lesson which we must take as a gift. And in time, it will become apparent what his gift is to each of us. Amen. 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 Danish? No, thank you, thank you. Well, I'll be back around with a tray of fruit. I think the fruit comes next. Esther, why he never comes to visit? He disapproves of us? Esther! The fruit is ready. To drop dead just like that, I tell you it's best that Leia has no children. It's a terrible thing when children are left. Yeah, I know. No? What happens now? Well, Rabbi Tensler's family will take the apartment since the shul owns it, and Leo will move back here with me. Oh. Janice, can I get you something? Nothing, thank you. 
I'm gonna get some air. Sorry, look, I'll... It's okay. I should go. Don't leave because of me. I should be downstairs. I just needed some air. Wish I had worn an old suit. <laughs> What's the meaning behind it? The rending of the garments. It allows the mourners to express their grief and anger. The things of Benjamin's you should have. Thanks, but don't rush. I know you have to pack. I heard you're moving. It's just down two flights. Your mother lives in the same building? Yes, and my sister too. He wanted you in his life. I know he did. I just couldn't find a way to relate to him. Everything I did was sinful. I should have been around. I, I, I might have seen the signs and then you and I, you and I wouldn't be standing here right now. When it happened, Benjamin couldn't find me. I should have felt something when he died. He couldn't find me to say goodbye. What do you mean? A person's soul finds the one they love to say goodbye. He found you? It's just a dream. The rabbi's downstairs. You're wanted now. Oh, you too. Me? Deliberate marriage takes place between the childless widow whose husband has just died and the unmarried brother of the deceased. It's his obligation to marry her. So the brother's name will carry on. <laughs> You're kidding, right? He's kidding. Well, I, I, I can't. I'm in a relationship. I'm, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> I mean, it's no offense, Leia, or to all of you, but I... Dr. Leva, we no longer practice this. However, to release both of you from your obligation, we have to perform a ceremony. Great. What do I have to do? You have to wait three months to see if Leia's pregnant. If not, we reconvene for the Chalitza. That's the ceremony that will release Leia from the law. Sugar. Here, I saved the last two donuts for us. Have you seen Mama yet? Why? She's meeting with Mrs. Finkelman. Wait, mm, I'm sure it's only preliminary, you know? To see who's out there and interested in you. Nothing can really happen if you're... What, pregnant? I'm not pregnant and you and Mama know it. Now, things do happen. The matchmaker? What is her hurry? I got other plans, Essie. 
I don't like that look. What are you digging? Please, ma'am. I've got my interview this afternoon. <laughs> How are you going to tell Mama? Winging this would not be advised. I'm not moving back in with Mama. Come on, I'm gonna be late. Help me with my wig. got your transcripts. You're not applying for financial aid. You plan to matriculate as a bachelor's candidate. That's right. So, uh, okay, well, all we need are your uh, SAT scores. Yeah, I know, I know. I have to get that over with. So are you applying for housing? Oh, yes. Actually, do you have a kosher meal plan? We do. I'll, uh, I'll make a note of it. So you'll be requesting a roommate who is also of your faith. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option, seeing I'm applying so late for this semester. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Lever, the earliest, if accepted here or anywhere, would, would be for next semester. It's almost six months away. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You're covering for me in clinic tomorrow, right? Sure. What's up? Remember, I have to be in Brooklyn tomorrow morning to divorce my sister-in-law. Right. And people think my religion's strange. What do you have to do? It's all online. Recite some biblical passages, get spit on by Leia, and then the rabbi will consider my obligation broken. Strictly ceremonial. No, it's my experience that in the presence of God and religious men, that nothing is strictly ceremonial, especially when they're spitting. Oh, that they say signifies. Okay. Oh, one special. Ten even, please. To shame the brother for not building up his brother's house. He shall be forgotten now that no offspring shall be raised in his name. Sounds different when it's read aloud. Like I said. You love him, Loretta? Ma, I love him awful. Oh, God, that's too bad. She loves me. What's the matter, Mom? I'm confused. Mama's order ready? Yeah. Hi, Mama. Ruth can't wait to let cake, so. Ah, oh. <laughs> here she is. I told Cormie you might stop by. Join us for a Lachayim, Leah. Mrs. Finkelman thought it'd be nice for you two to get reacquainted. Hello, Leia. Hi, Carmi. Why have to go so far away, Benji? Good college is right here. Just do. I want you to have something. It's a Jewish thing? It's a hamsa for each of us. It protects against evil forces. Bless these artifacts and make them holy. Let them be a symbol of our bond. We will always be there for each other. 
No matter what. No matter what. Say amen. Amen. Hey. Hey. I'm right over here. When does your train leave? Not for another hour. What is that? My brother's prayer shawl. Leia's note said Ben wore this one on the high holidays. Really? Do you have to wear it for the ceremony? I don't know. Be prepared is my motto. I will definitely be needing one of these, however. <laughs> So is Leia nice? Is she pretty? She's pretty religious. She can still be pretty. Do you think you'll keep in touch with her after this? I hadn't really thought about it. It's not like we have much in common. Except your brother. Make an effort, Jake. She's family. are ready to hang the drapes. You're still going through boxes? I'm going away to college. OK. I've got this figured out, Mama. I'm sure you think you do. Tell me, does running off to college include a family, huh? I'm not any good at marriage. All right, this is grief talking. <sighs> Mama. No, it is. You are a good wife to Benjamin, Leia. What do you think? Every marriage doesn't have its share of problems? He loved you, Leia. I know. I just always thought that a marriage could be something more. You're living in a fantasy world. Marriage is not like those movies you're always sneaking off to see. Before I married your father, I lived in that world. Everybody chasing crazy dreams. Looking outward instead of inside themselves for a spiritual life. Leia, the answers you seek are not to be found in a movie theater or a college campus. Well, maybe for you they weren't, Mama. Leia, you have got to erase this Meshuggah dream from your head. I can't. Then I fear God may grant it to you. I have to put on the Khalitsa shoe, take a walk in it, make sure it fits. Walk here, in front of the judges. Fitz. Okay. Now, Leia, repeat after me. My husband's brother refuses to establish a name for his brother within Yisrael. My husband's brother refuses to establish a name for his brother within Israel. He does not consent to perform the leveret marriage to me. He does not consent to perform the leveret marriage to me. You prefer to marry your sister-in-law or release her through the ceremony? Release her. All right, go lean against the wall over there. Now press your foot down hard onto the ground. All right, now lay in. Go over and put your left hand on Jacob's calf. Come on, it's all right. Come on. Yeah, and then on your right hand, undo the loops on the chalitza shoe. Now 
Now raise his leg. No, no, not so high. Now take off the shoe and cast it across the room. Put down his leg. Now lay him. Spit on the floor in front of Jacob. And I repeat after me, Leah. That is what shall be done unto the man that doth not build up his brother's house. This is what shall be done to the man that doth not build up his brother's house. Jacob, do you deny your brother's existence? Do you deny your brother's existence? We gotta talk. Dr. Lever? We'll be right back, Rabbi. I can't do this, Leia. I thought I could, but I can't. You have to, Jake, because if you don't, then you will be obligated to marry me. Then I'll marry you. I can't go back in there and let them finish the ceremony. If I do, I'll be denying my brother's existence. I did that for years, and now he's gone, and I, I just, I can't. Suggesting. We'll be roommates. Separate bedrooms. Didn't you say you have a girlfriend? Yes. But you'll understand, family's very important to her. Okay, my plan is to go to college. Is that gonna be a problem for you? Not at all. There's plenty of good colleges in DC. My mother would have to believe that we are married in the traditional way if we do this. Absolutely. But then, really, we would have separate lives, right? Is that what you mean? Yes. Yes. All right. Start to begin at the... Uh... We'd actually like to talk about the other ceremony. What other ceremony? wasn't your choice, or Mrs. Finkelman's, but I did as you wanted. Maybe this is God's plan. Only he commands who shall be with whom, Mama. It's gonna be fine, really. He's not religious, and this is far from fine. Sorry, I wasn't expecting company. Or a wife. Yeah, right. It's nice. But, uh, usually cleaner, at least tidier. But don't worry, I, I have someone who comes in and cleans once a week, so. I can't believe I'm gonna be living in Washington, D.C. It's actually Georgetown. It's not my mother's house. Come on, I'll show you your room. It's uh, kind of a mess right now, but don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear it out for you. There's a storage area in back. This will be just. 
looks fine. Great. Well, um, I'm going to make some room for you in the medicine cabinet. How many shelves do you need? One. You must be hungry. Here, one of these is probably kosher. No, I'll shop tomorrow. What do you want me to buy you? Oh, no, don't worry about me. You just take care of you. Map, you're gonna need a map. I fight my junk drawer just like the Maccabees. <laughs> <laughs> Maccabees, right. Um, I know you know that I'm not religious, but I'm, I'm really not religious. <laughs> How you choose to live is between you and him. Map, house key. You know, I just don't, I, I don't want my lifestyle to offend you. I'm in the middle of my fellowship, and I work long, odd hours, so I'm not here that much. And when I am, I'm usually sleeping. But you'll, you'll be in school. You said you wanted to go to college, right? Yeah. Do you think that at my age, that's a crazy dream? No, no. My first year of med school, my roommate was 35. Like I said, I'm never here. I could uh, drop you off somewhere on my way to the hospital. You can check out M Street. No, I think I'll stay and unpack. Hey, do you need any money? <gasps> no, thank you. All my numbers. So, I'll... Uh... I'll see you. See you. Yeah. See you when? Um, I'm not sure, but soon. Tomorrow morning, maybe? Okay, will you do me a favor and just let the machine pick up if anyone calls? I should first tell people what's going on here. It is probably best to do in person. <laughs> See you. You married her? Yes, but not in the biblical way. We're roommates. You know, she'll have her life, I'll have mine. There's nothing more to it. You were supposed to go there and get unmarried, not bring her back as your bride. I know, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. You did say I should stay in touch with her. That Shut was up. your Shut idea. Up. 14 months we've been going together. I'm the one that you should be getting married to. You said you wanted to take it slow. I know what I said, but I didn't think you were gonna marry somebody else first. We're roommates. Roommates. You call it roommates? Everyone here will call it married. Uh, How old is she? You know, it doesn't matter. You're married, that's it. You're not hearing me. No, you're not hearing me. Until you get unmarried, we're done. Uh, Carol. Good morning. Do you like scrambled eggs? Do you want a cup of tea? Uh, coffee's fine, thanks. I made your lunch. <laughs> you really don't have to wait on me, cook for me. Some habits are hard to break, I guess. Right. Can I now pick up the phone if it rings? Sure. So Carol is fine with me being here? She's very cool with it, yeah. I really should run. Hmm. 
These are really good. By the way, a man is coming today to blow torch your oven. Makes it kosher. Okay. Well, I gotta go. Oh, don't forget your lunch. Thanks. shakers of tomorrow. So, you are here to prepare for the SAT, the mother of all tests. You can say goodbye to your uh, TV, your iPod, your text messaging for the next eight weeks. On your desk, you will find a packet that contains your study material. Please take those out, and let's begin. Can I see this one, please? Not gold, dude. Which you did cost for platinum. I have it in platinum. One moment. Welcome to matrimony. I'm not married. Not like you and Priya are married. Eventually, Leo will move out and get this and all. You mean divorced. Whatever. Leo will move on, Carol will calm down, and everything will go back to the way it was. And you're on Demerol. Here it is. The other one didn't have diamonds. I know. We're out of those. But these are Pave diamonds. She'll love them. How much? Only 4,200. <laughs> He'll take it. I finished cleaning. Here, let me help you. Oh, Jake didn't tell you about me? Uh, no. He did. He, he just didn't mention that you were coming today. Oh, I'm so sorry. This place is a disaster. I, and I gotta get this stuff out of your way. Oh, it's taken care of. Perfect. My husband moved everything into the back. Thank him for me. I will. Well, it looks like somebody's gonna be doing some baking. Yeah. I'm making hollows. The elderly lady I work for on Wednesdays, Mrs. Blaustein, she makes those too. Maybe you know her. No. Hmm. I thought she wears the same hair as you. Oh, because she's married, she wears a wig. Is that why? Our real hair shouldn't excite men other than our husbands. Mrs. Blaustein has nothing to worry about in that department. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing, but you being here, has shaken things up a bit. What do you mean? You're here and Carol isn't. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. We're roommates. Nothing more. Hmm. Well, that's too bad because he is fine. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you worked for Jake? Three years, but seriously, he is a good man. Well, hoping to get to find out. He doesn't spend much time here. Oh, that'll change. I have never known a man to stay away from a home where there's someone cooking. Oh, he doesn't want me cooking for him. That will definitely change. Carol, will you wait up? I don't up? want to speak to you. All right, so don't talk then. But please, just take it. Hey, congratulations, you two. You finally did it. Let me know where you registered.
closing time. Almost 11. Five more minutes. I love it here this time of day. I'm Jerry. Though some people here call me Rabbi. Uh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I should go. I'd hate to think that I'd sent you away. We have a beautiful shawl. Thank you. I'm sorry, I've never met a female Rabbi. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Me being your first. So what brings you here? Oh, my brother-in-law's got an apartment in Georgetown. Oh, well, technically he's my husband now, but really he's just my brother-in-law. <laughs> the Leverett marriage? I thought that wasn't practiced any longer. It's not. <laughs> we were having the Halitza ceremony and something happened. I was a part of something, being married to Benjamin. Having my family around me, the shul. A built-in community. Yes, and now I'm trying to make a life for myself. Jake has his life. But I'm having trouble with all of the alone time. <laughs> That's understandable, you miss your husband. I miss the job. And I don't have that now. Or a real home. I mean, it's a place to sleep, but it's not a home. I really don't know what I thought would happen when I did this. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever run away. Except for when I'd sneak off to the movies. Sometimes on Sundays, I run away and I go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> this will get easier, Leia. Life will take hold again. Looks to me like you need a little smothering. In a good way. Hey, thanks for coming. It looks really pretty on you. Thank you, it's stunning. It must have really set you back. Miss? Yes? Grilled salmon to go. Mm -hmm. And for you? Hamburger, medium rare. From here, and a Coke, thanks. Okay. So what happened to having lunch? Look, I've been trying to wrap my brain around this. I understand why you did it. You just have to end it if you want us to be together. I just can't do it any other way. Okay. I'll talk to Leia this weekend. Good. I'll stay. Great. Leia? Leia? Baruch 
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos. She's been here for a month. Maybe she's out with friends. Leia has no friends. Look, I got some takeout. Come over, and when you get back, she'll be there. It always works that way. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Bye. <sighs> Go ahead, Jake. What? Call her. I know you want to. Just one more time. Maybe she met someone. Malaya's not like that. You have feelings for her. <laughs> Don't be silly. I can't believe this. I've become the other woman. What are you talking about? Dude, you're making me out to be the bad guy, and I've done nothing to deserve this. You're right. I'm sorry. Look, you and me, Jamaica, my tree. What do you say? Nice long weekend. As soon as Leia's gone, once she, once she's found. Police? 48 hours before I can report a missing person. Called the morgue. Thankfully, nothing. Where have you been? I've been going out of my mind worrying about you. you. You didn't answer my calls. You didn't leave a note. You can't do that, Leia. I spent Shabbos with a rabbi. I don't use the phone on Shabbos. Shabbos, of course. <sighs> Look, you need to tell me when you go out. I don't need to tell you the same way that you don't tell me. This isn't Brooklyn. I'm responsible for you. No, you're not. No one told you to do that, so stop. Fine. Good. Sorry, I was looking for an address book. Some, some way to find you. I like what you've done with the room. You look good with long hair. The picture on the desk. Thank you. I thought maybe you'd packed up and left. Is that what you were hoping? No. No, it wasn't. I asked you to come here, but I'm not sure I know how to do this. Let's stop, then. This is ridiculous. I don't want to feel like a border and... You, you don't even treat me like I'm a guest. When I cook for you, you're never home to eat it. I told you not to. I can't help it. I like to cook. And you're a great cook. How would you know? I liked your eggs. <laughs> Do you like Chinese food? This is my first time asking a man out. And so, you never just hung out with guys? 
Where I'm from, we don't go out with the opposite sex, besides our husbands or our brothers. Even in high school? No. We're kept separate until we're ready to get married. And then we're set up by a family friend or a professional matchmaker. You mean like you and my brother? Yes. Esther's husband set us up. Then you guys dated. It's not like what you would consider dating. Dinner and dancing. <laughs> it's more like seeing if we could make a life together. Excuse me. May I? Thank you. Thanks. So how did you meet Carol? At the hospital. We had the same late lunch schedule. Started eating together and... And it turned into what we have now. She can't be too pleased with this arrangement. <laughs> I should move out. It would be easier for you. Look, you're the one who uprooted your life because I asked you to. When you're ready, I'll help you find a place. Until then, let's just keep this arrangement. From now on, we'll let the other one know when we plan to spend the night out. Deal? Deal. Are you cold? Oh. Here. Thank you. Sure. You know, you're not at all what I expected. Why? What did you expect? I don't know. You're kind of sassy. You got spunk, kid. Bogart. No, well, seriously, though. Ben was smart to grab you. He was a lucky guy. Thank you. You know, the day he died, I told everyone I was on Delancey Street looking for Torah covers, but really, I was at a revival house watching the way we were. So Ben couldn't find me to say goodbye. Hey. Yeah, she's found. Shabbos. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Okay. All right, bye. Sorry. It's okay. Want some help? Sure. Here, you want to translate? Mm -hmm. 
On Tuesday, Kate buys an apple pie. She eats two-fifths of the pie that night. On Thursday, she takes out the pie again and eats two-fifths of what is left. You see what I mean? What's the lowest common denominator? So five, five times five is 25. Remember, two-fifths of what's left. So... So it's nine and 20 fifths, so the answer is D? You know this, you just overstudied. You know what I do when I feel burnt out? What? Are you planning on swimming in your towel? Loves those scary movies. You know, any excuse to grab for me. Though I did make him pick me up that one movie. You know, the one you told me about? Dr. Zhivago? Leia? I'm in love with him, Em. Oh. Well, have you two, you know? No. Of course not. Jake loves Carol. How could I have let this happen? He's taking her to Jamaica. Well, maybe to try to convince himself there's nothing between you and him. Oh, honey. You are not the type of person to have these feelings for no reason. Obviously, I am. He was just being nice. Here, men can be nice and take you to dinner and swimming and it doesn't mean anything. I've got to move out and Leia. Hi, I'm calling about the studio apartment. Is that still available? Yeah, that would be great. Oh. Could you hold on? Hi, Mama. No, I'm shopping for dinner. I think this arrhythmia case is a better choice for journal club. Dr. Lever, your wife is on the phone. My what? Your wife. Leah? My mother is coming here. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. She's coming to check on us. On this marriage. Uh, I have got to make your place look like a home. Why don't you just tell her? No, no, you don't just tell Mama. Well, this might be the perfect time to stand up to her. Just tell her the truth about us. You don't understand. She will make my life a living hell. She can do that. She's a professional. Look, I know you're going away, and I can just make something up about why you're not there, but if you would help me to get your apartment into shape, I promise I'll never ask anything of you ever again. We'll take it. Excellent. What else? Uh, curtains, end tables, lamps. Let's get a rug for the coffee table. 
I've got some fantastic area rugs. 20% off. Those pillows are perfect. Right up her alley. <laughs> Which medical conference should I say you're attending? Let me look at the schedule and see what's coming up. How did you like the... <clears throat> um, we're looking for very simple wedding bands like those. What are you gonna make your mom for dinner? Um, brisket. I do love your brisket. You're not gonna believe this. It involves Leia. Her mother, she's coming. I have to help her. I'm sorry, but I have to. I, I will more than make this up to you. I will do the rebooking whenever you say, next week, if that works for you. Really, no more interferences. You told me that she was gonna get her own place and that you were gonna end this marriage. I know, but I felt like a jerk. I mean, she came down here for me. I just can't abandon her. Goodbye, Jake. Dr. Lau, pick up extension Thank you for coming with me. Yeah, of course. Oh, when you get to Jamaica, don't forget to call to make it look like you're checking in. Well, actually, there's been a change in plans. I'm staying. Really? Yeah. Hey, Samir. What? Oh, if you're staying... That means I'll be sleeping in your bedroom with you in it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bye! Hi, Mama. Oh. Hi, Mom. Could you get this? Sure. Uh, I'll Thank take that. you. How was your trip? Short. Like your skirt. Nice pillows. No. Honey, we're having brisket tonight. No butter. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, sweet cakes. Sweet cakes? It's his name for me, Mama. Well, I certainly hope he doesn't use it in public. It smells delicious. Mama, Jake is one of three who was accepted to the Cardiac Fellowship Program. Out of thousands. Actually, it was hundreds. Do you belong to a shul, Jake? A shul? Yeah. No. I belong to a gym. <laughs> That's the sense of humor you said he had. I got Leia there for swimming lesson. Hmm. Hmm. Time for recreation. No time for shul. We've talked about joining for the future. Does the future include a family? Sure, yes. After I get my practice started, I want to be the kind of dad who has time to spend with his kids. <laughs> then what's Leia's job? Oh. Well, my wife. Well, Leia's gonna make a great mom, just as you have. And what, what a cook. But you're still the best mama. Yes, you are. Are you saying I'm better than your wife? <clears throat> um, I, I don't have an answer for that one. That's 
say we pulled it off. Shh. It's just a warm up. Wait till tomorrow. When you brought up the swimming. What, you're not allowed to swim? Not with the opposite sex. Where's the fun in that? Do you have an extra blanket? Yeah, it's in the closet. I'll get it. I'll get it again. Or even better, say your snoring kept me up and I had an early call. That's good. I don't know if I snore. Look, don't worry, we'll figure it out. Okay. Here, try these. Thanks. Leia, the bed is wider than Rhode Island. Look. I'm in Massachusetts. I'm sorry. Um, I can see how this is all really new for you. You do whatever makes you feel comfortable. happened one night. I don't know that one. Black and white, 1934. Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert, they shared a room, not married, in a motel. They were broke, so Clark Gable hung a sheet between their beds. Called it the Wall of Jericho. Was she worried that he'd try something? Or was he worried that she'd try something? If I can get in. It's close to the apartment. 
I am already familiar with the library. And, and thankfully, you don't have to choose a major until sophomore year, which isn't going to be anything involves math. The school is right up here. Uh, this is far enough. No, Mom, I want to show you. What, what? Another one of your charades? I found your nightgown. And don't tell me you slept there because you got sick or Jake did. And now you want to bring me to a reform temple with a woman rabbi and you think this is okay? Leia, you come from two completely different worlds. You are not right for each other. You don't know him. No, but I know you. You don't hold the same values as him. Where is his love of God, huh? He jokes. He, he puts vanity. He puts a gym before God. Well, he was nervous. You scare him. He puts his career before God. He's ambitious. And his profession is saving lives. You're in love with him. God and you come last in this man's life. It's all about him. You're not being fair. I am telling you, this is wrong. You're becoming so assimilated that God won't know who you are. I can't find you. It's still me. I'm still observant. Okay, so come back with me today. And we'll tell everybody at home. Mama, this is home. Know that you have a home back in Brooklyn. was a madhouse. So is it a good thing or a bad thing that your mom left early? Did she say something to upset you? I moved my clothes out of your room. We can return the furniture. Bring back your pool table. Thanks. But I kind of like what we've done here. You got chopsticks or fork? Chopsticks are good. It's when you and Carol leaving on your trip. We're not. There's no more Carol and me. We uh, broke up. It's my fault. You canceled your trip. To help me. No, it is not your fault at all. The truth is, I was never going to marry Carol. And I, I probably should have told her that a long time ago. But I guess I just got comfortable. <laughs> Besides, she's a, she was a better dancer than me. It's a black tie event for a doctor who's retiring. I want you to go with me. I'd like you to go with me. <laughs> Will you go with me? Is this a date? Yeah, it's a date. <laughs> we don't want you trashy, stuff all hanging out. Everybody seeing what you had for breakfast. We need you looking clean. All right, try those. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yes. I like it. All right, go. Put it on, put it on. Mm -hmm. Hurry up.
water, sir? Good evening. No, 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 thanks. Do you want something? I think he wants to diversify. Not nervous, are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doctors. <laughs> kind of a stuffy crab and nice. You want a drink? Well, that makes sense. Sure. Hey, thanks for coming with me. Thank you. Jake! <laughs> so they got you here. Feldman. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, you haven't met. Um, Dr. Feldman, this is Leia. Hey, Lever. Is this one your wife? Yes, this is Leia. My wife, Leia. studies going. Jake told Raj that he's been helping you. I think that's sweet. Oh, he's been a lifesaver. Looks like the fellows are moving up in this world to get invited to this. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Carter. This is Leia. Carter Weston, renal transplant. It's nice to meet you both. You guys are so tan. Where you been? Oh, wait for a few days. Carter, I love this song. Nice to meet you, Leia. Raj, ask me to dance. To this? I, I, I can't dance to this. Lucky for us, you won't be tempted to make any of your breakout moves. You do work with these people. Come on.
Pero So, uh, where is Jake going to meet us? Oh, at home, after his shift. Uh, I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, me too. Yeah, thank you. You're so, uh... <laughs> what happened to the Brooklyn you? <laughs> I'm still here. With some modifications. Aha. Uh -huh. Your cooking puts me to shame, Leia. McDonald's puts you to shame, huh? <laughs> it's true. It is true, I cannot cook. I could never cook. Uh, Jake was always very, very kind about it. He never complained. He's a very diplomatic child. <laughs> On the other hand, Benji used to call up his friends every single night to find out what their mothers were cooking. <laughs> he, re he enrolled me in cooking school. Do you remember that? <laughs> I went, but I couldn't do it. I can't measure. I can't. It's just not me. I was given the teacher agita. I was. I was driving her crazy. They finally threw me out. They gave him his money back. <laughs> I'm going to tell that story at the unveiling. I think. And you know what? You should think of a good story about your brother. Or, or maybe that's not permissible. Where he's buried. Oh no, it is. Is it good? And what's with the little rock that they put on the gravestone? Well. It shows the soul that someone's been to visit. Isn't that nice? Actually, I haven't heard from the mortuary since I picked out the stone. That was in September. Oh, I got a letter. Jake, did you get a letter? Mm -mm. It's just a little reminder to say, you know, you have to set a date for the unveiling. It's been almost a year. I'm listening to you too. Whatever you want, whatever you decide, it's fine with me. What do you think? I'll have to check my schedule. Ma, well, how's Aunt Francine doing? Francine? Yeah. She's fine. She's complaining about everybody and everything. Darling, what do you think? Should we have maybe a little lunch the day of the unveiling? I'd like that. Jakey? What? No, lunch. Sure. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to set a date. Ma, I heard you. And I'll get to it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's us. It's, it's these. 
Our letters. I feel like I'm betraying Ben. And you are his wife. Don't you feel guilty? No. I love you. That's what I feel. Did you love him? Our marriage wasn't set up like that. I was 18. Your brother was a good man. He was very serious, dedicated. There was something missing between us. You didn't answer my question. Did you love him? You know, I didn't plan this would happen between us. I gotta go. Dude, it was so much easier when you dated non-relatives. Sorry. Look, man, maybe you're looking at this all wrong. I mean, maybe the brother you shunned all those years is actually looking out for you. This is room 217, 65-year-old Caucasian male, developed end-stage heart disease. Excuse me one second. SAT scores arrived. She's gone. That's for you. Listen, I know how much you loved your brother. So I know what's eating you. But you love Leia. And she loves you. So, if God arranged this marriage, which apparently he did, I think he's going to take a very dim view of it if you mess it up. Good job. Nice service. Well, I hope it means you'll come again. I think I might. My brother was a rabbi. He uh, died this past May. My condolences. I need to ask his forgiveness. 
that possible? Your brother is in what we call a, a place of truth, sort of a holding pattern. It's in this place that it is possible to fix a wrong. Can you show me a prayer? Three days he here and not a word? You want to talk? Everything I prayed for came true. Just like you said. Only I ran away. This is the only thing I seem to do well. Look at me back here. I gotta stop running away. You're right. Go back to your home. You love him. He, Jake, loves you. Leia, even in the best of marriages, problems don't leave. People do. What if he can't get over the fact that I was married to Benjamin? You know, I saw something back there in Washington. You and he, Jake, you and Jake, work together as a team, even if it was just to convince me that you were living together as husband and wife. I think I'll get over it. Does this mean you accept me with him? Leia. A mother, you should only find out soon. It's only as happy as her saddest child. I want you to be happy. And back there you were happy, right? Yeah. God kept you two together long enough to find each other. When you know me, I never argue with God. <laughs> Come on. Well, what are we doing out here when you've got packing to do? Okay. All right, another hug. Me too. Meet is running. Go, go. Penn Station, please. You got it. Wait, Leia. Wait, 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 wait. Test scores. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And? Uh, Open it. Go on. Yeah, so? She did great. 1920 total score, 600 on math. Oh, I did great. <laughs> great. <laughs> she passed. And you drove all this way to give her test scores? Esther, get in. We're going for a short ride. I want you to go around the block slowly. You know, things happen when you're around. I think I'm growing on them. Yeah. You look good. I mean, you always look good. Oh, you too. I went to Temple. You did. It's still standing. <laughs> <laughs> you remember at Ben's funeral, the rabbi said that Ben left us a gift in the form of a lesson. It was you, Leah. Ben's way of taking care of me was to bring me someone I could love. I know. He did the same for me. I want to marry you. We're already married. No, no, no. <laughs> this time, for the right reasons.
your soul be bound up in the bond of life eternal. Amen.